If you drive around your neighborhood, you will see homes with solar panels on the roof or even in the backyard. Energy from the sun can take the stress off the power grid and help offset rising energy costs. But it isn't just the homeowners using panels to save money. Municipal solar is one of the best ways to do that. The biggest step that communities can take is often to, to pursue their own generation of power. Now communities across the state are creating energy committees, and Hanover is one of the communities leading the way. Circle back almost 10 years, Hanover listed as the first green community here in the state of New Hampshire. The fruits of those labors continuing to be solar panels. Over 4,500 at a farm here outside Hanover. The whole point that we originally made is that if Hanover was the only one that transitioned to 100% renewable power, it won't mean anything. Everybody needs to. So you have to be able to walk the talk. In just the last few years, numerous solar arrays in Hanover have produced more power than their municipal buildings have needed to run day-to-day -day operations. The plan is actually the savings we have now, we're gonna buy the arrays out and within five more years, we'll own the arrays and have essentially zeroed out our energy. Another one of those communities is New London. Jamie Hess with the town's energy committee says several years ago, the town installed solar panels on the highway garage, a move effectively zeroing out their electricity bill and sometimes meaning they get a check back for excess power. It's um, energy independence, it's resi resiliency, it's sustainability. Um, it's everything we could possibly want from this building, our um, highway garage. Um, it's actually producing more energy than it consumes. New London plans to add solar everywhere it can. Up next is the fire station. But much like other renewable energy, solar isn't always consistent, but that doesn't mean it isn't effective. They still make power even on a cloudy day. Um, so long as there's light falling on those panels, they're going to make some amount of electricity. So with those cloudy or snowy days, batteries to store extra power is key. When you combine that, you can essentially get the benefits of cheap, clean energy from the sun around the clock. While more communities are shifting to solar, the state as a whole is lagging behind. New Hampshire, unfortunately, hasn't uh, got as much solar installed as a lot of our neighbors do. According to the Solar Energy Industries Association, New Hampshire is last in electricity for solar in New England at just 1.37%, far behind our neighbors in Massachusetts and Vermont. So what can be done to expand solar power in the Granite State? Dan Weeks, the Vice President of Business Development with Revision Energy, says it's policy. There's some exciting changes in work uh, in Concord, which would enable this industry to take off and add the thousands of local jobs that we've seen come to other states. The state legislature recently passed a bill allowing municipalities to partner to build larger renewable energy generation facilities. For Forecasting Our Future, I'm meteorologist Kevin Skarupa, WMUR News 9. Now, in addition, the state offers solar incentive rebates and a grant program for municipalities looking to shift to renewable energy. Both programs will reopen once funding for the 2024 fiscal year is allocated. Since 2009, New Hampshire's Renewable Energy Fund has provided $14 million in funding for 50 renewable energy projects for schools, businesses, and municipalities featuring biomass heating systems to hydroelectric project upgrades to solar arrays.